Hi, I'm Stephanie Reinhold and I'm here with Prince Valiant and we're going to talk to you about how to groom a tail and that there are actually just two methods to do it and we're going to introduce both methods and Prince Valiant has an enormous tail, you'll see in a minute, so he's the wonderful tail model. So this is Prince Valiant's wonderful tail. You can see that, um, that he has a lot of hair and is thick and if we just think about brushing through this right away, it just doesn't feel right, does it now? Um, so to keep it that nice and thick, we have, want to use one of two methods. And the one method is the classic method. We're going to start with that one first. What we need for the classic method is just this wonderful tool, which today is blue in color for me. It doesn't have to be for you. It's a little cold here, so I promise it works even if your hands are not blue. So we're going to start uh, by just combing through the tail. We're starting all the way up here and just looking for any kind of debris that may be stuck in there. And some hay or some bedding or some straw or whatever you may have, whatever the horse may have picked up. And so that's step one. And step two, we're going to lift the hair here and we're going to examine the dock. And we see a lot of dander here in his case. But what we also want to look for, what often goes unrecognized, is scaling, uh, as in a skin infection or parasites. So we want to make sure that there's nothing like that present in his tail. Um, and now we get to the part where we use only our hands and we, can't, we can do that if we have a lot of time. So the classic way of uh, grooming a horse's tail is taking a few hairs at a time and just keep going and just separating the hair and never putting a brush or a comb to it. So you can see with the amount of hair that this horse has, I estimate it will take me about at least half an hour to 45 minutes to go through his ta tail like this. Um, but this is the classic way of doing it. Uh, there's actually a cavalry guideline. The German cavalry has a, had a grooming guideline and it specifically said to never put a comb or a brush to the horse's tail. So this is how we would go through the entire tail. See, this is all we have done so far. And this is what we'd still have to do. And it would take us a very long time. And since we're in the year 2015 and we're always uh, a little bit strapped for time, uh, we can use method B, which is a really good quality detangler, and I like to recommend this one, Trophy Line. This little bottle lasts a very long time, and a good quality brush. So we'll start out with the detangler. I'm going to park my brush here. So we'll only, this is a new bottle. To get this open. Okay, so we'll only need a little bit of this. If you consider how big his tail is, this is not much. So we're going to start with this and see how far we get with this. So these are human, these are uh, ingredients that are also used in human com cosmetics, so I don't have to be afraid to get this on my hand or anywhere else on my body. I'm just going to really work this into the tail. I can feel how nice and slick this is getting. I want to get really into the dock here too. I might have to use just a little more because this tail is su such a wonderfully thick tail. But I'm going to work this into the tail all over. Alright, so now I'm going to take my main and tail brush. This is a Leisner Luxury. Um, and I'm going to start up here on the dock, carefully brush down. So you see how this is much faster than what we were attempting today with our fingers earlier. It gets really good results. So with him, I would also recommend to part the tail and really get in there and get this dander out.
we're going to be a little, we're going to gallop ahead a little bit so you could do this a little longer, a little more thoroughly than I am doing right now, but you can see already we're getting in there and we're getting to all this dander. We don't want this to build up in there and cause itching for the horse. Um, then we we'll start from the bottom. I'm going to take his tail all the way down here. I'm going to rest it on my leg and start brushing from the bottom. And even though he has such a thick, thick tail, I can get through that hair very nicely. Here we get again. I really want to make sure that I'm holding tight here. I don't want to pull out any hair. It takes two years for one hair to grow out. And we'll be right back. You see how, how great his tail looks now. I brushed all through the tail with this brush um, using the Trophy Line um, uh, polisher and detangler. And we only used, remember we used like a pea size quantity of this wonderful uh, detangler. And that was enough to enable me to really brush through the tail. So um, I'm going to finish off by getting my, um, my dandy brush. And so this would be the finishing touch now. You use your dandy brush. Looks wonderful to me. Um, one more thing I would like to say. So there's two methods. The old-fashioned, old-school method of just using your hands, which takes a long time, or to take a brush plus a detangler. Please don't use just a brush. You will pull out a lot of hair that could be looking beautiful, just like Prince Valian's tail here. And it takes two years for a tail hair to grow from up here all the way down there. So either just your hands or a brush and detangler. Enjoy your horse. Thank you.